So what is so amazing about Balanced View is that it's the most simple practice. It's the most simple practice that I've ever heard. So what we start to get familiar with when we, when we come to this training is open intelligence. <coughs> and I'd heard about this open intelligence in many different ways before I'd come here. And I had all of these ideas about what that was. However, the way that I was taught to recognize open intelligence, it just never became my experience before I'd come to Balance View. And so we're given this introduction just to stop thinking just for a moment. What remains? Alertness, cognizance, the power to know. And this is what we find that we can have access to always in our lives. And we recognize this open intelligence through taking short moments repeated many times until it becomes continuous. And we do this whenever we remember to do so. So if we forget, that's fine. We just take another short moment when we remember. And everybody has their own pace. And if, it's really, and if we're always forgetting about short moments, it really doesn't matter because we will remember again. And that's why we come to these meetings, these meetings to just remind us that we can just take short moments repeated many times until it becomes obvious. So there's absolutely no problem in forgetting. Eventually, it will become continuous. This is just the guarantee of balanced view. If we use the support structure, if we use the four mainstays, which is this incredible, incredible support structure, if we use the four mainstays, then open intelligence becomes continuous. Not maybe, it becomes continuous. And so this support structure, which like sounds so amazing, it's like, you know, okay, something, somebody guarantees you something, then you want to use it. Like for me, I'd never, never was able to permanently recognize open intelligence. And then I was told that if I use the four mainstays, then I will be able to. So of course I want to test that out. You know, we're, we're, I've got absolutely nothing to lose by testing it out. And so I did. And the support structure is short moments, which I just explained, which you can take with you anywhere in your life. Any moments of your life, you just take a short moment. If you're in work, if you're on an aeroplane, if you're thinking about getting on an aeroplane, <laughs> it, it, it really doesn't matter. Short moments are just always there for you. And then you've also got the community. So here we are all together, the community of people relying on open intelligence. And it's so powerful to be together because we all remind each other. We just look at each other's faces and we just all remind each other that we all have the power to recognize open intelligence. I know that I look at all of you and I see just how completely amazing you all are. And I know that if you're all amazing, I'm not the unique one who's not. You know, like, we all are very, very powerful. So it's very, very, uh, it's just a lot of fun and very supportive to hang out together on, to hang out together. And if you like the computers, then that's great. We can hang out together online. If you live in a remote area, you can, everything's available online. And, uh, and if not, then there's, always places that we can gather like this. And then we've also got the training, the training media. And this is, for me, this is one of my most supportive uh, mainstays when I'm not living with the community because sometimes I will be in, living in Australia and um, there's just a small community there. And so I am just constantly plugged into my iPod I go for swims, I've got an underwater iPod and I can listen to talks there. <laughs> it's like everything you do, everywhere you go, you can just take the iPod everywhere. And we can give gifts to each other, we can give like an iPod downloaded with all of our favourite talks to our mum and <laughs> anybody who's interested. There's always solutions. And. Uh, 
And then we also have the trainer. And the trainer is just incredible offering, like that we have somebody in our lives that's just completely committed to empowering us to recognize open intelligence. Showing us that open intelligence is always there, always on, whether we're thinking or whether we're not thinking. It doesn't matter. Always in, open intelligence is always on. So I know for myself, like when there's a data stream that just feels like really, really intense, like anger or fear, then sometimes the short moments don't feel like they're working. Sometimes the data stream just feels like so, so strong and captivating, like it's really real, like I really, really need to give it attention. And I know that open intelligence is the only actual reality. So when I see myself getting caught up in a data stream, like fear, anxiety, then I just write an email to my trainer. And the trainer, like, is just, sometimes I'm just writing the email. Sometimes I write the email in my head, and that's enough. Sometimes just in pressing send, already it doesn't even matter what her response is. I've just, it's just completely resolved. And spontaneous reality, open intelligence is all that is obvious, just through that support, just knowing that she's there. And sometimes I love to get her response and I write back again because it's still not obvious. And then through this relationship and through this contact with my trainer, fear is just completely outshone. It's like a line drawn in water. It dissolves naturally without any effort needed to be done. We can just allow it all to be as it is. All data streams, we can just allow them to be as they are. It's very powerful instruction. It's very, very powerful. I didn't know that before I came to this training, I was never told that I can just let my data streams be as they are. I thought that in order to be relaxed, in order to, in order to feel good, then I really needed to remove certain really afflictive data streams. And so that's what I just spent my whole life trying to do. Because I didn't feel good when anxiety arose. I didn't feel good when anger arose. I didn't feel good when I was feeling so much fear. I thought that in order to feel good, I need to eradicate these data streams. However, it never worked. And that's why I ended up here. Because I saw very clearly that it's impossible to get rid of negative data streams. And data is just a term that we use in balanced view. All thoughts, emotions, sensations, everything that we can experience, we just call data, just to keep it really simple. And so to have the instruction and to have the complete support package of the four mainstays to empower me to see that all data are false evidence appearing real. <coughs> Not just fear, all data. Everything. I have the power, I have the capacity to experience all data. There's nothing that I can't experience. There's nothing that I need to get rid of. There's nothing that I need to avoid. So if I'm feeling lots of hatred, for example, I maybe thought in the past that that meant that there was something wrong with the person that I hate. So I need to get rid of that person in my life so that I don't feel hate. Or I would indulge that hatred to find some type of relief from the hatred. Indulge it. That would mean maybe <clears throat> gossiping about it with another friend who agrees with me about the person that we hate. And then I would find some type of relief there or just completely avoid it like or replace it I'm just I'm a really good person I don't hate I don't hate I don't hate love 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 <laughs> however it's just that takes up so much of our time so much effort 
And actually we're dampening down our power. We're not leaving reality as it is when we do that. Because as reality, this hatred, that is what is present. And so to allow that hatred to be as it is, to really let myself be as I am for the first time ever, this is powerful. This is how we come to see that we are not a victim to our data streams. We are not a victim. I'm not a victim to my hatred. And to take short moments with this hatred while I'm speaking to somebody who, where all of this hatred is coming up, to take short moments, to use the support, I see that actually, like, I am completely in love with this person. Like, completely in love. Like, there's nothing that I hate about that person. And then this resolves all hatred in every area of my life. And somehow it resolves money data as well. <laughs> it's like every single data stream that we relax with, every data stream that we take support with, it resolves all data that's going on for ourselves and for everybody. So if we're finding it hard with some data streams to rest with, then we can just like relax and use the mainstays where we find it easier to rely on open intelligence. And we see how much that will support the really afflictive times as well. And it's just so good to know that just by you showing up, just by you being here, by you asking your questions, this is, this is the best that you can be. This is like, this is, this is how you, this is how open intelligence becomes obvious in your lives. I see that my creativity, my, the way, my articulation, the way that I express myself is grounded in open intelligence, which is synonymous with the benefit of all. It's not, it's not grounded in confusion and the constant changing of data streams. It's, it's rooted as open intelligence. And when something is rooted in open intelligence, then the ability for it to flower and flourish and expand in a way that is completely unimaginable. Like if you just think about your creativity and then think about what your potential of your creativity is, that would be just the starting point when it's rooted in the benefit of all. So you just need to trust the, the four mainstays. Just use the four mainstays. And initially I know sometimes it can feel like what's happening to my creativity and my expression. But in my own experience, I've seen that I didn't even know what creativity was and still I started to rely on open intelligence and allow my data streams to be as they are. <laughs>